Well, I mean, it was a great crowd. Uh, it was a great crowd. It turned out to be a great day, so it was a good way to start. You know, we, we, we knew it was, you know, they were the defending champions coming in. It was going to be a good game. They, you know, they, they had a better to play in the first half, uh, but we went in at halftime. We tweaked some things defensively uh, so we could get the ball more because if you're chasing for 90 minutes like that, it, it becomes difficult. So we were able to uh, tweak some things, and I thought the guys responded well. Uh, we were able to get more possession of the ball, and then, wow, some goals. <laughs> some goals. I mean, anytime you can score four goals like that in a half, that's, that's pretty good. If part of all of the reason for this is to give more of an exciting atmosphere, game-like atmosphere, then, then Reserve League was, I mean, mission accomplished. This was better than Reserve League last year? Well, yeah, yeah, you know, I mean, uh, with these guys, you know, you have them all week, you're training with them and stuff, and you, you kind of know what your lineup is going to be. Uh, so it, it's easier to prepare like that, you know, rather than reserve where maybe it's the night before you get players depending on how much they play with the first team game. So, but, you know, we have a lot of work to do still. You know, this is just the first game, and we, we can't uh, just sit back on that, you know. We're going to get back to work tomorrow, you know. Tomorrow we do a little regen, but uh, on Monday we, we, we get back to work and prepare for Vancouver because, uh, you know, it's... It's just the beginning. Uh, we're, we're very happy, but you know we're, we're never satisfied. Uh, I was kind of disappointed we gave up that second goal, uh, but you know it is what it is. Uh, the guy hit a great free kick, so. Uh, but we're happy, and, and we, we're happy that we're able to send our, our fans home, you know, excited and happy, and and hopefully they, they want to come back and, and see more exciting soccer because that's what we try to do. You know, we try to play good soccer and and, and be an enjoy enjoying situation for everybody and hopefully we accomplish that today uh, but like I said you know still work to be done we're still it's still a work in progress but we're happy do you have to, do you have to rein anybody in any of the younger guys when you come out you're playing in front of this crowd is it hard for those guys to settle in early on and not try to do too much well yeah but and even just because it's the first game of the season and you know no one is 90 minute fit so I knew it could be a little hectic at first and you know the first five ten minutes was kind of hectic but I think we were able to settle things down a little bit. Like I said, you know, they, they're a good team and they possess the ball really well. You know, Preki, he's a possession type of play, uh, coach. So they possess the ball a lot more than we expected. Uh, but like I said, at halftime, we were able to change some things and try to get more of the ball. And that that's what we needed because if you're chasing, you know, it, it becomes a hard game for you. And uh, if you're not 90 minutes fit, then it's really impossible to win the game. So we tweaked some things and I love the way the guys responded. You know, they bought into it and we were able to get stuff. You know, and, and you know, it's, it's a, a great way. I mean, that goal by Rossi, I mean, it's just, it's, he's been doing that all preseason. And so we knew anything that came, you know, 30 and in, you know, he's going to have a go at it. And he took it well tonight. Coach, you've talked a lot about development being the primary point of uh, S2. What does it mean to layer on wins onto that development? Well, I mean, development is, is the, the major part of what we're trying to do with S2. But you have to have wins too. I think winning is a part of uh, developing. You always hear people say about professional athletes, oh, well, he was good, but what did he win? You know, was he a winner? Did he win anything? And so we want to incorporate winning as part of their development because you got to teach these young players how to win, how to do what it takes to win games. You know, so when they come, become professionals, they're winners. And at the end of the day, it's trophies you want to put on the first team, you know, so the more we can develop these guys and put them in a winning atmosphere, the better it is and more prepared they will be once they step in with the first team. So all that is part of their development for us.